Hello again and welcome to this brief video. I'm going to show you how you can create a very small script with which you can render every unnecessary future in Second Life like trees, fog, alpha, water, ground, um, clouds, grass, particles and other stuff you don't want to use. The only thing you have to do actually is go to Google and download a very small light utility which is called Auto Hotkit Script. Go to Google, type in the search box Auto Hot Auto Hot Key and then go to the main page. And then you have to download this program. You click the button here and this is a very small uh, light utility it will never bother you actually uh, the download is very fast it's only i think two or three megabytes you will see here for my downloads then i go to my downloads and i right click to install the program i select yes then my firewall asks me if i want to install the program i click allow and voila the installation is very very fast I have already installed it before, so I don't need to reinstall it again. So close the, the install a window. And actually now the only thing you have to do is to right click on your desktop. Right click on your desktop and go to new. New and now you will see that we have a new option enabled which is called auto hotkey script. Just click here to create a new hot auto hotkey script and voila it goes to your desktop but you can place it wherever you want I will place it inside my games folders I will just drag it there and I'm going to my games folders now you have the new script uh, inside your folder now right click again on the new script you have created and go to edit edit script because you want to put the commands there okay initially you will see some guidelines some you know some commands that you don't need to use every new script has that just select them all and erase and then just copy paste the text as I have it exactly under my video in my comments box copy paste the text from there to here and voila as you see now all these commands are assigned with the button F6 but then again you can change the button you can change it to F8 or F9 or you can put another keystroke whatever you want so I just put all these commands uh, with F6 so in the end don't forget to click file save to save the script and your script is almost ready now Again, right click on the same script you have just edited and this time choose compile script. Choose compile script. And what happens now? Under that you will see a new icon appeared, a new file came out uh, with a little green icon H. Now this is an exe file and we are almost done. The only thing you have to do actually to run the script is to double click the new green icon. I double click on the icon twice and the script is running in my background as you can see here from my corner in, in the toolbar the script is already running now let's see what happens if I go to my viewer if I go to my viewer now you'll see that everything for the for time for the time being is enabled now I just click on F6 once and look everything now disappeared I took alpha off trees water ground grass clouds particles bump and I didn't have to go to advanced menu to, to click them again and again the same with rendering types I have I have taken out a uh, water ground grass um, fog in rendering futures test FR info and food shadows only with only one with one click F6 but then again as I said you can use your own button now if I click back F6 I wait a bit and I go to advanced and suddenly 
all the rendering features have an, been enabled again. So this is pretty much it. It's very simple. It's very light. It's very easy. You can create um, that script. You just um, go and copy paste the commands as it is uh, under the video, and it can be very helpful. You know, in fights, you just ha don't have to go to advanced every time and take off all the rendering features. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it was helpful.